All right, uh, Richard in Arkansas. This is your new Striker 497 here. It's the serial number. Let me get that out of the way. Um, today I'm just using my 20 amp uh, Radio Shack switching power supply to power this guy. So uh, I think we're running at about 13.8 for anyone that cares. Uh, just remember, Richard, with this one, I think it's old school. They want you to fill out the form and send it in. So I would, uh, if you probably if I can remember I'll print off your invoice that way I'll just put it in the box with the radio and then you can copy it or you can send that one you can always get it from your order off my website to your order screen um, and that way you can send this in so that way you get the warranty because I believe they want you to send it in you may be able to do it on their website but I'm not sure about that um, I would check that but uh, well yeah it says right here too about it you can register online or fill out the form and mail it in it's up to you then so you can either fill it out or you can mail it in but i would highly recommend you do that either one of those options really cool radios here um you got all the different colors the one thing i like about this is you also have the little uh, light here on transmit now when you're in transmit you can press the color and you can change the color of that so this would look uh, really cool in the dark you can customize it whatever you want it comes red the red is here so if this ever starts flashing while you're transmitting then you have some type of issue with your coax cable or your antenna or a combination of both so just keep that in mind there um, the radio is kind of stabilizing right now on frequency so um, I will say with these it's not going to be uncommon for it to be a little off frequency and when I say a little off it could be like uh, 100 hertz plus or minus it's kind of normal uh, this is a high power radio so there's a lot of uh, heat that can get built up inside the chassis they are vented in the back there's a fan on the inside blowing on the little um, MOSFET I believe they're not using a, a transistor in there anymore I think they used to use like a 2290 I think now they just use um, so IRF 520s is, is the, the power amplifier in this radio too. So I think it's like so many IRF 520s driving more of them or something like that. I haven't actually looked underneath there. Um, but they do do a good amount of power. So, you know, it's kind of like having, uh, I think it'd kind of be like considerable or con similar, I mean to say, to like, uh, what are those things called that some guys put on the back of radios, like those RFX 95s or something, um, you know, about 100 watts PP, usually around 90 to 100 more with these, but pretty clean radio, um, no crazy mods, no mods or anything like that done, just good clean power, good audio, good talking radio here, so um, let's go to the meter. And I'll show you what we're working with here. So I set your dead key with the RF power all the way up on AM to about 15. And then all the way down it's about 4. Or so um, about 4 to 15. I feel like you don't really need a low low dead key on this. 4 is probably good. We'll, we'll start at the 4. I'll put this in peak. Turn the mic gain up on my mic. Mic gains all the way up on the radio. Here we go with the power check right here. One, two, three, one, two, three. So pretty good power from a four watt carrier. Um, again, we're not distorting, we're not over modulating or anything like that. So this is more realistic power. If you're gonna use this in a truck or something, or even if you're local talking, I guess, and you're really close to people, you'd probably be okay turning it down to this level, you know? Well, there's a hundred for a minute there, so. There are still some some big peaks that the radio will will hit with certain levels of voice but uh generally speaking it's going to be somewhere around 50 30 to 50 at at most you know with the low dead key so um that's all the way down now let's see if we turn it to about um 25 percent maybe somewhere in there whoops sorry about the focus going away so now We'll get more at like a 6 watt dead key or something. And with the 6 watt, it, it, the more you turn this up, probably the more consistent the power level will go. And the more uh, power you'll see. There's close to 100 there. So, you know, that's giving you a good idea. Um, we'll just 
turn it up all the way now every time I put my hand in front of the camera when I do that it focuses on my hand so here it is up all the way so with the 15 watt dead key up all the way then we're going to see a more consistent close to 100 mark there so that is a uh, probably if you want to talk distance you can run it like this or just run it like this all the time it's entirely up to you um, it won't hurt the radio I mean it has a lot of ventilation has a fan blowing on that little power amplifier section so you'll be fine uh, there's no super high dead key or anything uh, the problem that I always see with these is they got them at like 30 watts or something I think that's a little too high because the radio can't achieve like 120 pp it's it's not possible maybe if you crank everything wide open and you butcher the AMC circuit in this thing and you get all that distortion and all, everything else with it then yeah probably your peak reading bird or whatever whatever you want to use will probably show more but I like real power here I don't I don't like to sugarcoat it and all that stuff so let's go to FM mode sorry about that a little loud um, so on FM mode you do have quite a bit of power all the way up so um, I set it for about let's see 70 a little over 70 there so I wouldn't recommend talking on it like that for long conversations and stuff um, I would rather see you run it and that's all the way up I'd rather see you run it about 50 which would be somewhere let's see where that's at there's 50 so if we look at the radio here it is um, the little dot there if we reference that little dot so the middle one is at 12 o'clock so one two o'clock maybe and then you have two more to the right going clockwise so third from the last going clockwise would be about 50 that would be more of a safe level if you're going to talk fm for longer distance or, or longer uh, duration i mean you probably want to back it down some you know um, the radio will get extremely hot on FM because this is full duty cycle. I mean, as soon as you key the mic, you're, you're full on power and it stays there until you let off the key. So um, just keep that in mind. I did give you a little bit more for those times. Maybe if you are running FM where you might need just a little bit more, but keep those conversations short and keep those transmissions as short as you possibly can. Um, because you don't want to overheat this thing. I mean, it's getting the, the heat sink on the back is getting really hot right now. So, um, if you're going to run it up like that, you know, say what you have to say and <laughs> kind of let it cool. Um, otherwise, you know, I would say 50 would be better, but anything less than 50 would be even better than that. So, you got to remember when you're on FM, full duty cycle, what you're going to see is the distance that you get on FM is going to be greatly increased versus AM when we're talking about like local communication. So 25, 30 watts of consistent power on FM is going to well exceed like 60, 60 some watts peak on AM. So the less power you run on FM, the longer the signal is going to travel because it's consistent. Um, you need more power on AM to talk, you know, distance. So because FM is full duty cycle, AM is kind of like uh, double sideband. So it, it is a little more on the duty cycle, but not as much as FM. So um, I like to say that, uh, you know, if you can talk distance on FM, start backing the power down into where they're having a little bit of trouble hearing you, and then maybe just increase it a little bit from there. Just, so, just enough to make the two-way conversation. Um, if you're going to do skip and whatnot, then, you know, you probably can get by with whatever. That's more dependent on conditions. So um, just remember, though, that this thing's going to heat up a lot and uh, try to keep it uh, FM down. Let's see what it is at 12 o'clock here, just for the heck of it. About 30. So even at 30, that's a good level. And I would say that's a very safe level to talk on this thing like all day, every day, if you wanted to talk FM. So... Um, that wouldn't hurt it in the least, but just be careful when you start getting up. Let's see what this next notch is here. Um, any more than like there's 40, I would even say that's probably pretty safe. I, I kind of worry when we start going over 50, 50 plus. So again, seems like 30, 40, 50 
I'll see what this one is, if that makes it 60. The second one from the last, it's going to be probably pretty close to that, but yeah, it's a little over 60. So you can pretty much count on it being like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. It's kind of how I did it. It's a little hard because they don't give you much adjustability there, but um, yeah, it's going to work good. I did increase the deviation up to about 4 kilohertz, so it's going to sound really good and, and loud and clear on FM. So probably a radio like this um if you're going to talk to somebody on fm they're probably going to run something similar or at least a 10 meter model where it's probably in the wide format for receive anyway so that four kilohertz will sound really good to them if you're talking on something that's a cb probably two kilohertz might not sound as good although it's still clear and legible so when you have a wider receive pass band on fm for on a 10 meter model it really doesn't hurt to hear somebody on 2k or a little over that on a CB. It's just going to sound a little quieter is all. So all you'll have to do, people like that, is turn the volume up a little bit more when they talk. Otherwise, if somebody comes in with a 10 meter rig that somebody set up to be a little bit more on the deviation, <coughs> you're going to have to turn the volume down when they talk because it's going to be like, whoa, you know, big difference in, in amplitude there, volume. So that's pretty much it for it. Uh, I checked the receiver. It's really good. Uh, the echoes work in, the colors all work, and all that good stuff. So, um, I kind of like this. Uh, I kind of like that orange color. Kind of orange looks cool. They they all are somewhat cool. I, I like the green. I like that one. That's probably like the traditional one. That one's cool. I really like that one though. It's more like a white. It looks pink in the camera, but it's more like a white. 10 kilohertz switch works, so there, there we go there. Channel 20, we go up one channel, so you know, you can get your 19A and all that stuff. All right, doing that. So it's pretty consistent right now. It's, it's stabilizing pretty good, so I'm not going to adjust it anymore. I've kind of aligned it a little bit, and I'm happy with where it's sitting, so... But again, don't be surprised if uh, it does move around a little bit. It's just the nature of the beast with these. They they have the crystal oscillator, so they're affected by temperature. But you're never going to really be... It's not going to bother anybody because we're on AM or FM here. So you have a carrier. <coughs> and I haven't seen these really where they're that bad anyways. It's not a major complaint with these. So it is what it is. I'm trying to find that uh, that green... That's what I'm going to leave it in for you, or the green. So you can play with that. You can adjust that how you wish. You have your talk back here. So I am running the uh, KPO mic, so it is an amplified mic. So we'll probably get a little lot too loud here, but check one, two, check one, two. Not too bad, not too bad. So I do have the echo on just slightly, if we can hear that or not. Um, I have the volume kind of down. Actually, this is the volume, this is the delay. I have the delay kind of down a little bit and the volume about there, so. Check, one, two, one, two. Might be just a little too much delay, so. Check, one, two, one, two, three, check, check. I like a little echo. I like radios that uh, you can adjust the echo on the front. Um, some that don't do that, it's a little more cumbersome to, you know, play with the echo. Makes it a little easier. Here's the Roger beeps. Whoop. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's a little harder to hear those because the talkback doesn't pick them up, but I think that's on purpose because if you were running the Roger beeps, you wouldn't want those beeps blaring through the talkback. But they are there. That's the single beep. The, this is the two beep. Beep, beep. So basic beeps you got your nb and all, all that stuff so that's it for you there richard um i'm gonna get the battery for you in your nm532 the six pin model i already got the digi mic heading your way so uh yep everything is set for you and we'll get this heading your way tomorrow hopefully thanks a lot there appreciate the order and uh we'll catch everybody later i got another one of these coming up soon for um my good customer in Maine, and as uh, soon as uh, we get that one set up, I'll be sending one off to him. He's really looking forward to getting it, <coughs> and I really like these too. Start coughing and stuff here. Sorry. There's the blue. 
I don't know. I like color for a minute and then I want to switch it. So I think this is more the like the traditional color. I don't know what colors on the box. They got red on there, but I like this blue. So we'll get uh, Dean in Maine. I'll get his set up for him later. And uh, I always say I want to get one of these for myself. I just haven't got around to it because it is a it is a beast for AM. And I uh, probably would work really good on FM too. All right, that's it. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Uh, we got some uh, more George FCCs on the way. I got some Digi mics with it now, so um, that's on the website. You can get a slight discount on the Digi mic if you buy it with the George. Same thing with this, except it's the six pin model. So um, either option is available for that. And there's no shipping charge for either mic when you buy it with the radio. Um, there is no shipping charge on these if you buy them separately anyway. So um, it's something just they cost a little bit more buying them individual. So that's it, everybody. Take care. We'll catch you guys later.